Hello students! Today we continue our previous lesson about algorithms and today's topic is writing an algorithm. The objective of the lesson is to construct an algorithm of a given problem before writing its computer program. We talked about the steps in solving a task in the previous lesson and today we will see the third step which is about writing an algorithm. There are two types of writing an algorithm. One is called pseudocode. Pseudocode looks like human language. It's intended for human reading. Example. This is one kind of pseudocode. So here it says, if student's grade is greater than or equal to 60, then print passed, else print failed. So the same task can be written in flowcharts. Another type of algorithm is called flowchart. It's a type of diagram that represents a step-by-step -step process of a task. So the same example, now it's written in flowchart. Here in parallelogram, user enters his grade, then inside the ROM we check whether that grade is greater than 60. If it is greater, we print out past, otherwise we print fail and goes to the end. In your books, it is given this kind of task for the classwork. So here it is asked to write a pseudocode and its program for the given flowchart. First of all, we need to understand what's happening in this flowchart. So here I can see it is given a variable s and initialized as zero and another variable i initialized as 2 then inside the rhombus it checks whether this i is less than 20 if it is yes then it goes here so here we are adding this i to s and then incrementing i by 2 then it goes again to the rhombus it continues till i will become greater than 20 then it goes to this part and ends by printing out S and finishes. So here I try to write pseudocode. So we give name of the pseudocode algorithm sum, declaring I and S. And then in the beginning I am initializing this S by 0 and I by 2. Then inside the cycle checking it if i is less than or equal to 20 then adding this i into s then incrementing i by 2 and end of the cycle then print s after that end so same thing what is given in flowchart i try to write in pseudocode now let's try to write its program include i of string using namespace std so declaring i and s so declaring variables so we can declare as integer i and s then initializing numbers S as 0 and I as 2. S is equal to 0. I is equal to 2. And then writing a cycle. So for example, while cycle. Here inside cycle, I'm checking I is less than 20 or not less than 20 less than or equal to 20 so because here it is given equal sign also that's why i'm writing less or equal to 20 then opening this cycle and inside the cycle i'm going to write these things as is equal to s plus i and then increment this i i is equal to i plus 2 i plus 2 
then finished site. So here I am closing it. This is this is called finishing. Then print s. So in C print is called C out. C out s. So goes to the end. So this is the end of the program. Now let's check it. So it gives 110. Let's continue. So you try by yourself to do the first class work and compare your results with mine. In the second class work, it, it asks from the fo following pseudocode construct a flowchart and write its program. So the pseudocode is given. Now, by looking to this pseudocode, you write its flowchart and then its program. So this is the result of flowchart. Now let's try to write its program. So here, let's try to understand. So A and S initialized by 0 and 1. In the flowchart, we are doing same thing. So we are giving S as 0, A as 1. And then and here it says CB means cycle. Inside the cycle, we are checking A is less or equal to 10. I have written here A is, is less than or equal to 10. If it is yes, then here it asks to add A to S. So same thing I have written here. Then asks to increment A by 1. So here it is same. So it goes to the cycle and cycle will be finished when A will become greater than 10. And just prints S. So here it asks to print S. And then it goes to end. Now let's try to write a program for that. I copy this and do some changes on it. So in, uh, declaring S and A. So here instead of I, I write A here. In the beginning it initialize S by 0. So same thing happening here, S by 0. And A initialized by 1. So I write here A is equal to 1. Then inside the cycle, A is less than 10 because here it says A is less than or equal to 10. The same thing I have written here. Now we are just adding A to S. So here I will write the same thing. A, adding A to S. And here A is incrementing by 1. So I will write the same thing here. A is equal to A plus 1, incrementing by 1. That's all. Now compile it and check. So I'm getting here 55. So we did the second class work also. Next, the homework is about write an algorithm and a program for the given following equation. So try to do this by yourself. So this is the end of our lesson. Goodbye.